Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah with for everlasting salvation. Ye should not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah. The Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shah, Waha, Rakab, Kodash, Barakata, Barakatam to the Akim, pushing the word in sincerity and in truth and being faith based, fighting for salvation. <clears throat> yes, for salvation. That's what it's about. Getting out of this wicked place called America. Alright. Let me read that again. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye should not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Right. Because this world, as you know, is going to end. Alright. This society, this government, all right, the Edomites world is going to end. The world after this is never going to end. Okay, let's get a um, let's get a, a um a concordance right here for the world war. All right? No, not world. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, yeah, world. All right. Um. Let's see if I can pronounce this right. Um, this is H5769. Alam. Alam. Alright. Long duration. Antiquity. Future. Futurity. Futurally. Forever. Ever. Everlasting. Evermore. Perpetual. Old. Ancient. World. Ancient time, long time of past, of future. Okay, we was in the past, which is the beginning of everything, and we're gonna be in the future forever, forever, always, forever, always. Continuance, existence, perpetually, perpetual, everlasting, uh, indefinite. Um. <laughs> Future internally, I mean, in yeah, um, internally, all right, forever, you know, it's gonna be never stopping our world that's to come, okay? So, yeah, that's the world, that's the world, that's the world to come, all right, with our end. Let's look out for our end, H5703. <laughs> Odd. Perpetually, forever, continually, future, ancient, of past time, forever, of future time, <laughs> forever. <laughs> Need I say more? We're gonna be doing this forever. All right, this world is to come. It's gonna be forever. So, um, what you see here in this scripture, I mean, in this picture right here, you see missiles. Let's get a little zoom in. Uh, we got missiles. That's mi all those little things over there. Missiles, missiles flying all over the place. All right. This is a great analogy of what's to come. America, look, it's all on fire. It's tons of missiles hitting that. My last video I did, it was um, how you say, um, multiple warheads inside um, inside these um missiles. Huh? Multiple warheads. So that's beautiful. The scriptures is speaking, and everything is happening because North Korea got they um got their missiles. China got their missiles. Iran got their missiles. And the dollars, the dollars being is not being used in other countries anymore. Things is about to is heating up, all right? And then the ultimate people that got their missiles is Putin, <clears throat> Putin in the game. Okay, Putin. He got the supersonic missile. Okay? Let me read another scripture here. Let's read the next scripture. Next verse. Next verse in, in Isaiah 
It's locking. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Verse 18. For thus say the Lord Yahweh Shah that created that the the, that created the heavens God himself that formed the earth and made it he had he had established it he created it not in vain he formed it to to be inhabited for I am the Lord there is none else okay Let's read that again. For does say the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shah that created the heavens, God Himself that formed the earth, right? Because this earth, this earth has been formed to be inhabited. Okay, it's not going to go nowhere. All right? For God Himself has formed, formed in the earth and made it. He has established it. He created. It not in vain. This is not a vain place. Okay? The people that are running in this vein. Alright? He formed it to be inhabited. We we're gonna be here. That's why if, if we're gonna be here forever, the earth we gotta be forever. Okay? I am the Lord and there is none else. There's no one else beside Yahweh Shah. Okay? Let's read that so I wanted to bring that out. Let's see. Let's see if I get some precepts. Step it up. Let me see. Everlasting. Let's go into everlasting. Because we're going to be everlasting. We're going to be forever more. It's not gonna be, we're not going to never be taken out of power. Now, Yahweh Shemar Shah is going to dwell with us. Yahweh Shemar Shah is going to dwell with us. Okay. Um, this is Isaiah chapter 54, verse 8. In a little wrath... I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with an everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, say the Lord Yahweh Shem El Shah, thy Redeemer. That's right. All these things that's happening is for a moment. This because we disobeyed Yahweh Shem El Shah. So the Lord is waking up his hopeful leg, and it, this is the time and the age when he's going to redeem us. Get us away from this, this, get us out of this wicked society. And how he's gonna do that? With those chariots. Okay? Alright. That was the spirit right there, that scripture. Let's see what else we get here. Okay, it's locking. Trying to find a scripture. Where is it? I had another one. Okay. Because we're going to do, we're going to be forever. While this world ends, because all other nations had it, they, they, they chance to rule the earth. And, and Yahweh Shemar Shad said, no, they didn't do it right. And it makes logical sense that how they messed up, we got to, we got to, we got to, we got to um, govern this world and do it right. Show them how to do it. And the Lord's going to put it here. That's why he's raising the help for a lot. <laughs> Slock it. All right. Um, let me see what this, what's, what's the next verse to see with this. Let's see. Locking. All right. Um. Let's see. This is Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse fourteen. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh Shemuel Shah for you, brethren, the love of the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shah, because God has formed the beginning. God from the beginning chose you. Chose you to salvation, to suffocation of the spirit and belief of the truth right because for what we were for for um for all the things we did go through and where we are now 
through faith because we knew the laws back then okay we knew we knew um we knew the gift we knew that it was a higher power but the lord took that away from us now through the spirit of Hashem, Hashem, that's why the power that's why it's so important to follow the apostles because apostles is the one that the lord set up and 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 through the spirit these these scriptures is is, is speaking that these are the same men that's being that spoke back then they speaking now but but we so like you but we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh Shemel Shah for you, brethren. That's what they do. They say, "Oh, thank you, Lord, for this fruit that you that you have given us." Because through the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah, that's what that's what that's what that's what the Lord gave it. They built a fruit. They built the fruit, and now this is this is years later, and their fruit has grown. Brethren, but. Bedroom, beloved of the of the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah, because God has from the beginning chosen you. Yes, that's why if you're still in this, the Lord has chosen you to salvation, to supplication of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Okay, if you're still in this, you believe that this is the truth through faith. Where unto you he called you by our gospel. All right? Do <laughs> the, 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 the apostles gospel. They came out with the good news. And then they, and, and we, we, we heard it. We ran Habakkuk chapter 2. We ran with it too. Okay? I'm going to end it with this one. Let me see. Salaki, yeah. Where, where unto you he called you by our gospel. To the ob obtaining, obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yahweh, of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So all these things that's about to happen, and 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 through faith and through um our suffocation, all right, and um the gospel, all right, and then the gospel, the gospel is that this all these things need to happen. We need these missiles to be shot off, 200 million missiles to blow up America. We need, we need, we need the salvation of Yahweh Shimon and Shah. We need those chariots to come. We need, we need, we need race war concentrate. We need all of that for this world right here at the end, and for our world that's gonna be forever more. It's the most beautiful part ever. Okay. Okay. All right, um, verse 15, let's bring home with this one. First, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 15. Therefore, brethren, steadfast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistles. Okay? These scriptures, you know, and the, um, how do you say it now? The, the epistles that's being done online. New epistles are being made every day. Okay? And with that, all prayers and honor and glory go to Yahweh Shemel Shah, the Wadi Yahweh Shemel Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve the honors, rightfully so. Shalom to you, Akim, pushing the word in sincerity and truth and being faith-based. Shalom.